Okay, greetings everyone. This is First Centurion 753 with the next episode of Out of the Park Baseball playing as the Myrtle Beach Pelicans in the Carolina League, single A division. Uh, yeah, single A league. Um, we are in first place in the division, southern division here, 8-2. and two. And I believe we are in first place in the league as a whole. Northern Division is 6-4. and four. Uh, So uh, we're looking pretty good here. Um, we lost a few people to the, to the double-A ball. Uh, again, we are our farm team for the Chicago Cubs. So uh, we lost a few play people. But we got a decent lineup. Uh, we got some good hitting. Uh, leading the league in batting average. Leading the league in on-base percentage. Leading the lead in leading, leading the leagues in run scores. We got some good speed. We run the bases pretty well. Got the leading the league in stolen bases. Um, however, not too much power behind our hitters. We got one or two hitters that can take it out of the park, but uh, for the most part, not a lot of power on this team. And our defense sucks uh, a lot. Uh, defense efficiency is horrible. I got to work on uh, where I'm putting people in the field. Really, I think that's an issue. And the pitching is not great either. Sixth in the league in pitching. But we do have a few decent relief pitchers. If I can go to my pitching lineup here. Um, Taylor Scott is uh, probably one of our best relief pitchers. Our, uh, our closer is leading the league in saves. So he's doing pretty He hasn't given up a run yet. Scott has got some pretty good uh, strikeouts. Both Scott and... Uh, and Juan Carlos have good strikeout ratios here per nine innings. Um, and Scott's pitched eight so far, so he's doing pretty well. It's staying pretty consistent, 2.25. Um, I haven't used my left-hander at all. I only have one left-handed pitcher in the whole roster, and I haven't used him once. I keep trying to. I keep bringing him into the, the bullpen to warm up, but uh, by the time I need him, I don't. I don't. I don't need a lefty pitcher. But he's our specialist, and I use him. He's marked as a specialist. And I use him as a uh, pitcher versus left hand. He's marked to be used as a pitcher versus left handed. I keep forgetting that uh, Perkiskulis, I can't say this guy's name. Uh, this guy's uh, our setup guy. I keep confusing him with James uh, Pugalese, Pugalese, uh who actually he doesn't have terrible. Oh no, he does have terrible statistics. One of them bad. Let's see which one. How do I know which one's which? Uh, pitching stats. Pitching ratings should tell me. See, his numbers look better than this uh, setup guy. Setup guy doesn't have any stamina, so this this should tell me that he is our guy. But Taylor Scott has actually been doing uh, well for us. Uh, good movement on his pitches. Um, decent fastball, curveball, and changeup. And he's been striking a lot of people out. Like I said, two strikeouts almost every time he comes in. And uh, we've been using him a lot, so i got to kind of sit him uh, for the next couple days, try to give him some time to rest, because he is slightly tired. Uh, but that's okay, because i got some decent bullpen strength here. My starters are back. Uh, I was going to use this uh, Marcello Carino um, to try to give the starters a little bit more rest time, but... Um, Torres seems to be back, and Conway, they're both back to, uh, Torres is back to 100% rest, and Conway is at 82, so he should be ready to pitch. So I'm actually going to move this back to a, I'm going to take him out of, I'm going to put him back in the bullpen. I'm going to mark him for long relief, because he's got a lot of stamina. That's why I had him in the uh, starting lineup, he's got 13 stamina there. So we got uh, room there. I'm going to move this back to a five-man rotation. Uh, let's just bump everybody up here. And there we go. All right, so we should be ready. Um, Taylor Scott, like I said, I've been using him a lot. I've been basically using him as the setup guy, really. But he is marked as mid-relief for the primary role. Uh, we have a mark to be used more often than anyone else, which he's been used more often. I'm going to put him as a secondary role setup guy. Um, so maybe in the games that I simulate, um, that'll help uh, the positions. That's the that's my pitching moves here. And I have a number of moves I want to move to the lineup, particularly more to the field than anything uh, than the lineup. Um, let's see here. We're going to start with... 
Uh, boat. Boat is my backup, but he... Let's see with Boat. What do I want to do? He stinks at shortstop. I don't want him backing up short. Not every tenth game. Uh, only backup shortstop versus... I'm going to take this out never. And uh, we'll back him up with lefties only if he's tired. We'll back up the shortstop. Not every tenth game. Only if starter is tired. Good. Um, and I'm going to have him back up uh, Vin uh, Victor Caratini, who's my best hitter. Uh, he's leading the league in RBIs, too. I wanted to look at stats real quick, actually, but let's get back to that. I'll get back to that in a second. He's leading the league in RBIs right now. And he's backed up in the lefty line because Boat is a right-handed hitter. So versus a lefty, if, if Caratini's tired... I'm going to put Boat in here. Uh, Caldelario is somebody that I do want to get more at bats because he's got a lot of potential here, p potential for gap power, home run power, which we don't have anybody home run power, a lot of good eye discipline potential and contact potential. So um, there's definitely potential here for this guy. So I want to get him some more experience at bat. I have him backing up DH in the lefty lineup. He's a switch hitter, right? I think, yeah, he's a switch. Um, and so I'm going to use him to back up our third baseman, if the third base hired in that situation. All right, so that fixes that situation. Boat. Boat is going to be a second baseman backup, too. Oh, I already had him at second base to backup. I'm going to give Boat some time because he hit pretty well. So I'm going to say for second base, uh, well, against uh, righties, you'll do if it's tired. But against lefties, Boat will do every 10 game, 10th game. So that'll give Boat a little bit more experience. He's backup for everybody here. He is not a good shortstop. We don't have anybody at shortstop at all. Uh, Zangus, our catcher. Take a look at this guy. He can actually play in the outfield. Um, so I might use him there. We don't have any right fielders. So I'm going to put him... I am pulling him out of the... Since uh, this guy's a switch hitter. He can go with anybody. I'm putting him... That's, uh, who's that? Mark Malav. He's a switch. And we'll use Zangus as a backup against the lefties. Only if the starter is tired there. But no backup there against the righties. So those are my adjustments. Uh, oh, I wanted to get him at, sec at first base, too, because he could play first or third. Eh, we got him at catcher for now, starting catcher. I don't really have any backup at catcher. Trey Martin. I wanted to get this guy some experience, too. He's good in left field. Trey Martin is a righty, so let's look at the left-handed backup. Let's... He's a righty. McKinney is a lefty. McKinney didn't do too well either. I'm going to put Trey Martin in there. That'll give him some experience. All right, so I think that uh, solidifies my lineup a little bit there. we got some viewers on the channel here. Welcome, guys, to the uh, Twitch channel. Thanks for following me on Twitch. Again, I'm trying to become an affiliate. So I think I need one more follower. If anyone's out there, speaking to YouTube people, too, that will be watching this eventually. I just need one more follower on Twitch, and I can become a Twitch affiliate. Um, so please, if you're a member of Twitch and you haven't followed me and you like what you've been seeing so far, please do follow me. Then I can start getting paid, actually, for this. It would be great. I already get paid on YouTube, but I'd like to get paid on Twitch as well. Um, take a look at the league leading information right now. We, right ha we still are leading the league in RBIs, Victor Caratini, uh, 12 RBIs ahead by three, 
And Sean Dunstan leading the league in runs. Ten runs here. And we got a lot of guys in the stolen base department over here. So we can get some more stolen bases. Uh, McKinney draws some walks, so he does pretty well. He also struts, so he doesn't do too well there either. He do... does well in one category, but not in the other category. This isn't a category we want to see. But uh, Caratini is definitely our best hitter, probably. Leading the league in RBIs. Five, or four doubles. And on base percentage of 395. That's pretty solid. Pitching statistics. Again, we are sort of struggling with pitchers here. We lead the league in walks. This guy stinks. Oh, no, he doesn't stink. He's got two wins. And, oh, never mind. This is the guy that stinks. He got us a loss, didn't he? Scalina. We got, oh, he's got potential. Got to give him some more work. And then maybe... And uh, we are leading the league in saves right now. Hot cold streaks. Carlos Meza is uh, for Salem. We're not playing Salem, though. We are going up against... Where's my lineup? We're going up against... We are in a series against... Strategy schedule... We are going up against Salem. Oh, that's next. We're on a road trip right now. Winston Sounds, who we're playing, they're four and six, and their pitching has been—I I have just worn down their pitching by taking so many pitches. Everybody's tired. I'm gonna light them up this game. This game, I'm just gonna signal to swing away. I think we've got. Maybe I'll take this first inning. I'll just take some pitches. This guy's got no stamina either. He's at sixth in stamina. Stamina. Uh, so we're going to try to light this guy up if we can. 78% rested. He's got two losses. And his ERA is 463. 63 ERA. What else? Oh, he's weak in the bunt for hit, but not sacrifice bunts. So he knows when the sacrifice bunt's coming in, but maybe we can, get a, we can squeeze in a few uh, bunts for hit here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, play a game for you guys. And um, let's see how this plays out. I'm going to go ahead and play Winston-Salem. Again, mostly live streaming on, streaming on Twitch for this. Um, so YouTubers out there, if you can follow me on Twitch, that would be really appreciated. Let's take a look at our lineup here. Dunstan McKinney, our shortstop, Carlos Penalever, can't say his name. Jacob Hanneman has been pretty solid lately, getting a lot of good hits. He's got good speed and good outfield range. Coming off a win here, 3 2 win. Batting average is 360, 390 base percentage. Looking good there. Dunstan batting 275, McKinney 275, Victor Caratini. Lockhart. I should move some of these guys up in the lineup. This guy's a right-handed pitcher. Yeah, we got our lefties up in the front here. Lockhart's doing pretty good, though. Let me uh, switch the lineup a little bit real quick. Lockhart, I kind of want to move up. Carlos Pena. I'm going to switch. Give Lockhart a shot there. That's uh, one, two, three, four, five, s five lefties in a row they'll have to f face before they go up against righties. And there's no one else I can substitute in here, is there? I want Burks to play. McKinney's already in it. Yeah, this is my lineup. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and play this game. Playing against Winston Sal. Ooh, what the heck was that? Bad weather. Oh no! What happened? No game today. Ah, oh, come on, man! I was all ready to light them up. And that's probably because I pulled... Oh, no. 
that just kills my momentum. Alright, let's check this out here. No game today. Finish today. That stinks, man. I was ready to have a good game. I was so excited. And we got some emails here. Okay, weekly power rankings are in. Myrtle Beach Pelicans are number one in the total points tendency department here. Uh, BNN stats. Check out who leads the Carolina League's on base percentage while playing first base. Not any of our guys. Alright, that's just uh, batting leaders at first base announcement. And Carolina awards best batter prize to Caratini, Victor Caratini, that's our guy. It can be difficult for a young player to step out of the shadows and assert himself in the Carolina League, but last week Victor Caratini of the Myrtle Beach Pelicans reminded everyone just why he's here as he threw up numbers that made him an easy selection for player of the week. Uh, Caratini rocked the posing pitching for 375 average, 9 for 24, 1 home run, 12 RBIs, come away with the award. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, now who are we up against? In the schedule, we are going up against Salem now. That gives our pitchers a little bit of a rest. And Salem also got a David McGrath. We got a lefty. We're going to be putting in our lefty lineup in here. He's got pretty decent stamina. We're starting a new series. I'm going to want to take these guys deep into the count. Uh, not really good against bunting, so we can bunt against this guy. He's got fly ball tendency. Good, 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 good. Good to know. Good to know. What is the rest of their lineup look like? Who's their catcher? Is that their catcher? Yeah, the catcher has a good arm, so we're not going to be stealing as many bases. Um... This is Salem. Is anybody big from Salem? Let me just check the stat department real quick. And hot, cold, Salem. Carlos Meza is hot. We gotta watch out for this guy. He bats third. I'm gonna be pitching around him. Alright, I guess it's time to go ahead and play the game here. And let's get some action going on. How's their batting? They bat pretty good. They got some pretty good batters here. What's my pitcher look like? He's got a ground ball tendency. Got a lot of potential for control, but we need to work on that. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and play here. Here we go, Sean Dunstan Jr. Starting leadoff hitter. I'm going to go ahead and take a pitch. Welcome to the action. Today the Red Sox go up against the Pelicans. Myrtle Beach enters the game with an 8-2 record. That puts them in first place in the Southern Division. Salem in second in the Southern Division. Win-loss mark of 7-4. This is an important series. Um, Red Sox have won four games in a row. I guess they, they didn't get uh, rained out, Salem. and They got a win, so they're actually only one game behind us here. Starting is David McGrath. He's 1-1 with a 6.0 ERA. He's striking out 6 and 9 inch. Leadoff hitter, the wind up the pitch. Uh, knee high inside corner with a slider. So, my game is not going to freeze on me. Good. Okay, let's swing away. 1-1 one, one pitch coming up. Popped up. That's a short. Hernandez is under it. Out number 1. All right, we got to try to take some pitches here. I did not readjust this lineup at all, did I? I have my lineup readjusted for uh, lefty pitcher, and now we are getting a, or I guess a righty pitcher. First pitch strike. Two first pitch strikes against us. That's not good. Ground ball hard, left side, gathers it up. And he's out, two outs. That's, that's a good sequence there, taking deep into the lineup. That's what I'd like to see. All right, Trey Martin. This guy's getting an opportunity. I put him in for uh, McKinney. And uh, I don't think he's had any at bats, has he yet? Wind up pitch, strike. This guy's going all first first pitch strikes on us here. Two one two pitch bound 
bounding ball towards short. Three down. All right, that was about 15 pitches they got in there. All right, not a great start. This guy's good against the uh, righties too. Let's uh, let's gonna go pitch straight up here to Torres. He's got a four or five ERA. Strike the uh, struck out four and in 12 innings pitched. All right, boat picks it up. Got the throw. The throw got him. Okay, Rijo, Wendell Rijo, pitch him straight. Oh, he's a spray hitter. I probably could have pitched the contact this guy. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. All right, good. This guy I am going to pitch around because he's hot. 2-2, two -two. wind up, pitch. Swings at it. Bouncing ball short, routine play. And we've got Penna, Penna Liver in there, who is a much better fielder than... Um, boat at shortstop. I'm going to go ahead and swing away here because this guy's a first pitch strike pitcher. Kind of contradicting my usual strategy. Swing and a miss. Takes off. Head of the throw. That's a strikeout. Pass ball for Wendell and for Weems. And we got on base ball. So uh, nice. Nice play there. Hand him in. Swing away there. 3-0 batting average, one homer, five RBIs, batting 400 versus the Red Sox this season. Two and two. We, we come on, man. Uh, we uh, swept the Red Sox in the last series. That was in Myrtle Beach. Now we are in Salem. All right, Char Charcer Burks. You know what? I might do a little uh, bunt play here because uh, this guy wasn't good on uh, Bunt for a hit. There it is. Turn the bunt. Drops down the line. Third base line. Comes in. Makes the play. Throw to first. Out by a step. Caratini advances to second. We advance the runner. Carhartt. Swing away. See if we can get this guy in. Come on. Give me a hit. Give me a sharply hit to third base line. Collects it. Throw to first. Oh, man. It was a good solid hit, too. Had an opportunity there, but we lost it. All right, Sam Travis. Batting 250. Normal hitter. I'm going to pitch to contact. Contact is at 8. Payoff pitch, swing, hard ground ball, up the middle, bunch of lunges, sneaks through. Oh, man. I should have tried to strike this guy out. Pitch to contact, 475. I shouldn't be pitching this guy to contact, should I? Trying to turn two. Grounder, hole on the right side, boat. Yeah. Double play, he got him. Okay, boat, good job. Defense is at 7. He was like 2 again in shortstop. Yeah, sure, 3 at shortstop. He's no good there, but... Second base. Best at third. That's interesting to know. Uh, and this guy is not good at third base. We should make some adjustments there. I should, maybe I should start boat there and get Caratini in the DH. But then what do I do with Hanneman? I don't know. Alvarez. I'm going to pitch this guy straight. He's got an eight contact versus righties. I don't want him to make contact with the ball. And he did deep. Pick it up. Sugar. I'm trying not to curse on my channel. Damn! Alright, pitch the contact. Fields it cleanly to Carhartt. End of two. They got a run on us. And they are 7-4, and four, so they're like ready to catch us here. Boat. Swing away, boat. Struck out. Great. Malav, the catcher, pull hitter. Ground ball is short. He's out in two pitches. Dunstan. I'm going to take a pitch. This guy's a first. Oh, give me a break. That is not. Hey, Ari, how's it going there? Lucky hitty, you got that right. Swinging away here. Ari, Ari, sorry, I said it again. Ari, Ari, I got you. Top of the third is over. All right, well, this guy's uh, got about 40 pitches here. We are, we're at 26. Batting 500. He's got some gap power here. I think I am going to pitch straight to him, try to see if I can strike him out. Hot bouncer to the left side, fielded by 
the shortstop, that's out number one. That didn't take too many pitches either. Pitch another one here. Slapped uh, behind first, dives for it, gloves it, he's out, good. Jordan Weems, Jordan Weems has got some gap power, I'm pitching him straight. Dadogen, then I usually approach, uh, oh, strike three, there you go. Torres has got some strikeout potential there. I want to check that out real quick. Just take a look at Torres. Durable, 39 pitches today. He's got good movement right there. That should indicate some strikeouts. Fastball's at 10, slider's at 8. Control's got potential, but we got to work on it. Okay, uh, shortstop is up. And he's got a good eye, so let's swing away. Swung on hard ground ball. The third gathers it smoothly. They've got some good fielding going on here. And that was the first pitch, too. Trey Martin. Take a pitch. There's the first ball that I've taken. I'm going to take another one. Two balls. Take another one. Fastball strike. All right, now it's time to swing. 41 pitches for this guy. He snagged it. Oh, man. All right, this is our big hitter here. Swinging away. Victor Caratini. Strike three. That was a quick inning. Good for business. Wendell Rijo. Wendell Rijo is going to get a pitch to contact. One, one pitch. Lines it to left. Burks hustles. He has it. Burks is a good fielder. We got him out there. Left field. 18. That's good. Trey Martin is not looking good in right field. Yuck. I gotta make that I gotta make that adjustment in between games here. Oh no. This is their hot guy. Pitch around. Ooh. Base hit on an 0-2 pitch. He's got a double. Ah oh, man. I'm going to pitch around this guy. I'm okay walking him. Liner. Squeezes it for out two. And let's just pitch straight. See if we can oh, no. I forgot the batting average number here is pretty good. He's under it. He takes it. That's three. Okay. All right. That's three. Hanneman. Swing away, baby. 47 pitches. On uh, this guy, balls up in the air towards the left field, races after it, makes the catch. Took him deep in the count. 53 pitches in the top of the fifth, I'm good with that. Uh, this guy has an hour. He bunted last time, sack bunt. Gonna give him a chance to get a hit this time. No problem, he reeled it in. Alright, Carhart, swinging away. Damn. They are shutting us down. Alright, pitch straight to this guy. This is the fifth inning. He's got 58 pitches. Retired in four pitches. 62 pitches in the fifth inning. Pitch to contact. This guy hasn't got a hit all year. Swung on the center. Dunstan is there. That's two away. That was two pitches. And this guy's batting 400. We're going to pitch straight to him. Let's try to strike him out. Oh, boy. He's got it for the catch. They've been hitting him kind of deep there. But it was a quick inning. Not a lot of pitches thrown. All right. Top of the six, Myrtle Beach. McGrath has got 58 pitches here. We got Boat up. I'm going to have Boat take a pitch. And it's a strike. This guy is a first, and that is high corner there. This guy is a first pitch strike pitcher. We're swinging away. Looped. Underneath it. Makes the play. Not great. Mark Malak. Swing away. Wind up. Hot shot the ground. Uh, dives into left field. All right, here we go. Now we got a runner on base, and it's our slow catcher. So we're just going to swing away with Dunstan here. 
Here's the pitch swung on a rip hard towards second. It's gonna be a double play. Damn. This is going by way too quick. Way too quick there, Ari. We're not looking good. Uh pitch straight to this guy. Hard line to right field. He hurries, balls drops in. Skips the corner, it's gonna be a double. Oh, stand up double, not looking good, not looking good at all. Pitch around. 68 pitches. It might be time. Wild pitch! Oh my god. Full count. Ball four. Not looking great here. Riho, we're gonna try to. I'm gonna try to strike him out. I can't. I don't know what else to do here. Underneath, this guy's gonna tag up. Damn! Pitch around Meza. We're at 78 pitches. It's gonna be time to warm somebody up in the bullpen, I think. Ground ball to short. Boat for one. Quick relay. Double play. All right, I think he can probably get one more inning out of him. Uh, so when the seventh comes, bottom of the seventh comes, I'll uh, put some people in the bullpen. Got to get that lefty some action. So until then, we are at 63 pitches. It is swinging away time here. Hitless at two at bats. We got to get a rally. Swing, high pop fly, second moves underneath it, makes a play for out number one. Trey Martin swinging away here. Two out pitch and he struck out. And Victor Caratini, our big last shot at a, at something. Ground ball to short, gobbled it up, throws in time. Oh man, this pitcher is making mince meat out of us. Alright, we've got some lefties here. So let's get our guy warmed up. One, and we'll put in uh, cats, because we are losing here. Get these guys warming up in the bullpen. Ah, bad. Bad game so far. Bottom of the seventh. Struck hard up the middle, base hit for Travis. Hernandez, spray hitter, I can't do anything about the fielding. Pitch straight to this guy, 0 for 2 so far. Ball 4. How are we looking? Warming up. Uh, I'm not going to get the lefty in again. Straight pitch, 1-0 pitch, squares it, bunts towards the pitcher, fields it, throws over the first, he's ouch. And they advance the runners. Time for a sub. This guy hasn't got a hit all year. I said that before, didn't I? Another run across the plate. All right, who we got? Righty. 91 pitches. Still warming up. I should have started them in the bullpen earlier. 91 pitches, huh? Pitch around. Ball four. All right, these guys got to be ready now. Who's up? They got a right-handed pitcher. Broadcast. Pitch straight. Strike him out. Walked him. Bases loaded. I'm pulling him. Coming off the bench at a bullpen, you throw a walk. Let's get that lefty in there. All right. Pitch this guy straight. Strike him out. Two, two outs here. Come on. We're not winning this game, Harry. No way. 
I'll leave him in there. Takes the grab, three down. Two runs scored, 4 0. Oh. Not looking good for the Pelicans. Animan, swing away, baby. Hard ground ball, right side in the hole. All right, does not risk a throw. That's an infield hit. Hanneman does have stealing potential. I'll give him the green light. Oh, how's their catcher? I forgot to check on that. Ball on. I guess their catcher is pretty good. Thrown out six runners and ten tries. That was my mistake. Big mistake on my part there. This game's over. There is no way. Oh, man, he got a base hit, too. I'm not, I'm not uh, stealing. Line the second. Oh, no. I would have had a run in if I didn't try stealing. So stupid on my part. Substitute pitcher. Damn. Blown opportunity. Blown opportunities. Base hit. Two scores. Okay. Back in the game a little bit. Let's see if we can rally at the top of the lineup. Might have a chance. Might have a chance. Not over yet. Swing. Loft though. No. Oh, falls in for a hit. All right. Another substitute. This guy's a killer. Ah, crap. All right, we got two runs and five hits. We're still in it. I'm going to let this guy uh, stay in the game. Pitch around Meza. I should get somebody else uh, warming up, though. Uh, this guy's the setup guy, but he, oh, we can put, uh, Marcello in. Let's get him warmed up. All right. Pitch to... Wait a minute. I'm going to throw to first. Meza was leaning there. Lucky he got back. Alright. Pigeon straight. Liner to short right. Falls in. Nah, that's not good. Alright, now we got a pinch hitter. Ah, crap. Who's this pinch hitter? Not great. Pitch the contact. Fly ball. Two center. Dunson's underneath it, makes the catch. One out. And this is a lefty. We'll pitch him the contact. Lefty versus lefty. See if he can get out of the inning. Drops him for a hit. Goes to third. Bases are now loaded. He's going home. Got him! Yes! Out of the inning. Woo! That was close. But we're not out of the inning? I thought that was two outs. Damn it! Wait a minute. Switch hitter. This guy's still warming up. How many pitches? 21? Not gonna strike him out. Bounce to the left side. Scoops it up. Throw to first. He's out. Okay. Whew! I lost, I lost count there of the... Uh, lost count on the count? No, I lost count on how many outs there were. What to do? New pitcher, Trey Martin. Not a lot of, not a lot of good numbers here, but we want to give him an opportunity because this is the minors, and our goal is only to really remain respectable on the field. Is what they said. One, one, one. There's a hit ground ball left side. Baseman has it. Sends it to first. That's out of the morning. Yeah, I'm not really expecting to win this game. Swing away. Heron on the ground, right side of the diamond, digs it out, quick throw, ground ball out. 
struck out on the sinker. Oh, we lost the sound. I'm so disappointed. I was so ready to uh, kick the crap out of Winston-Salem. I had them all set up. Their bullpen was so weak, and then we had a rain out because I wanted to switch the lineup. I probably wouldn't have even had the rain out if I just pressed play the game. I wanted to, I wanted to get fancy with the stats. Now we are, well, we should still be in first by half a game here, but we got to go up against these guys again. They brought in a lot of pitchers, so hopefully that wore them down a little bit. Uh, we did not have a good game. Six hits. They had seven. They had more runs. We struck out eight times. They struck out two times. Who's striking us out there? This guy, McGrath, is pretty solid. Six strikeouts. I can't do that to this. All right, so I'm going to do a YouTube episode here, but uh, Twitch, we're going to keep going. So thanks for watching on YouTube, and I'm just going to close that one out.